three identical single phase two winding transformers with a ratio A, N1 to N2, 3. X1 to X2, 3. That means that the voltage here in X1 is three times the voltage in X2. But at the same time, that means that the current in X2 is three times the current in X1. And the current in X2 is given by this source. It is given it's 10 amps. So if the current here is 10 amps leaving the dot, the current in X1 is one third of 10 amps entering the dot. And what is the phase of that? Well, this is the current in the primary of a single phase transformer X1, X2. So the phase is the same. The current here has a phase of 97 degrees. So this current in X1 has the same phase, 97 degrees. The same can be said about the current in Y2, this one, 12 amps with negative 20 degrees, and uh, Y1, and uh, IFC9, which is this current, 9 amps with negative 100 amps, and the current in Z1. Now that we have the currents in the delta of windings, we can use KCL up here at this node and obtain the line current in the primary of phase A, the line current in the primary of phase B, and the line current in the primary of phase C, this one. And those are the three values of the currents in the primary of the system in the line 626 amps with negative 132 degrees. 456 amps with 20.3 degrees and 626 with negative 91.1 degrees. That concludes part A. For part B, find the zero, the positive and negative sequence currents of the primary lines. So convert these three currents to the sequence domain just this way. We apply the usual transformation to the three values we obtained, 626 with negative 132 degrees here, this value there, and this value there, the three phase line values of the primary, and obtain the zero sequence of the primary, the positive sequence and the negative sequence of the primary, and those are zero. There is zero, zero sequence amps, in the primary lines. There is positive sequence and there is negative sequence. That responds part B, but part B also asks you something else that is a bit misleading on purpose. Explain why the primary line currents are symmetrical while the secondary currents are not. Well, the answer to that is, excuse me, the primary line currents, 626, 456, and 626 are not symmetrical. No, that is your answer. No, the primary line currents are not symmetrical. Now let's go for part C. In part C, find the zero, the positive and the negative sequence currents inside the delta. You see those three currents, this one, this one, and that one in the delta. Well, apply the phase to sequence conversion to those to obtain how much zero sequence, how much positive and negative sequence you have inside that in delta. Those are the zero sequence, the positive sequence, and the negative sequence currents inside the delta. What's going to happen in that delta is this, you say, how can it be that there are zero sequence currents in the delta one amp, but there is no zero sequence current in the line? So you see up here, there is zero sequence currents, one amp, one amp, one amp, but there is no zero sequence in the line. And the reason is that the zero sequence current is circulating inside the delta, but never leaving that. So there are no zero sequence currents in the lines of the connection to a delta of a transformer. And that finished question number one. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.